So, why do we need net zero homes? Let us take a step back and look at where the problem started. At present, about 33%, that is 40 crore Indians live in urban areas. By 2050, this number is set to increase to about 81 crore, adding more pressure on developing infrastructure in the urban areas. The buildings and construction sectors are responsible for 36% of energy consumption and close to 40% of carbon emissions. The use of energy and electricity in buildings has grown by 1% to 2.5% every year since 2015. The impact and numbers have shown that we clearly cannot keep developing infrastructure in the manner that we have been. Let's look at the city of Bengaluru for instance. Over the past 50 years, the garden city of Bengaluru has witnessed rapid changes that has endangered the very identity of the garden city. A population growth of over 1000% since 1973. Average temperature has risen by 2 to 2.5 degrees Celsius over the last decade. An 88% decline in vegetation cover, a 79% decline in water bodies in the city, frequent flooding since the year 2000, deteriorating air quality, and really, a city which doesn't feel the same anymore, right? But there is a silver lining. As per estimates, 70% of the buildings required by India in 2050 are yet to be built, which means we have the chance to act now and develop more responsibly. But how do we do it without leaving such a deep and alarming impact on nature and the environment? In other words, how do we make our growth and development more sustainable? There are plenty of initiatives we at Mahindra Life Spaces have been taking over the years. But we all clearly need to do more. And that's where comes in net zero energy homes. But what does that really mean? It means that we can give back to nature what we take from it. Sounds bizarre, right? But that's how our relationship with nature was. A perfect balance until we wanted it all for ourselves. And to sustain this symbiotic relationship with nature, we are launching India's first net zero energy homes, where the amount of energy consumed is equal to the amount of energy renewed, which means that it leaves a net zero energy impact on the environment. These homes are consciously designed to not only sustain nature, but also retain and enhance the biodiversity through various nature-friendly measures and features. The project positively contributes to six of the goals set out by the United Nations as part of sustainable development. And what does it mean for the homeowners who will live at India's first net zero energy home? The homes will use 100% renewable energy this will be achieved by use of solar and wind energy. 100% of electronic waste will be recycled and reused. 100% of wastewater will be treated and reused. The intelligent design of every apartment will allow ample light and ventilation so that the residents can feel one with nature while being in the comfort of their homes. The residents will live a life amidst over 100 species of plants over 25 species of birds and over 25 species of butterflies. A place that the residents and the flora and fauna around it can proudly call as home. Come, join us in this net zero revolution at India's first net zero energy homes.